Shalom, Rainicorns. It's Ellie here. And so today is day two of the Feast of Tabernacles, and this is my second day vlog. My current situation right now, um, this may be longer than yesterday's video. I, it depends. But, um, my current situation right now, I'm away from my family as it became unsafe for me to be around really anyone who knows who I am. And so I've been living in the woods pretty much for the past few days and it became convenient when it's, uh, you know, the Feast of Tabernacles and Israel spent time and in, in pitched tents, tents for this week and so Everything worked out. Today, um, like somebody had been, you know, helping me out, like bringing me food and water and giving me like, you know, bits of cash every, uh, every other day or so. So, um, just checking on me, making sure they're okay, but making sure that I'm okay. And they, uh, like, this is what they do for work. They they help people. So, you know, they're not doing anything necessarily out of the ordinary in their life. However, the, the situation I'm in right now is just, like, I'm just really grateful that a person found me and was able to help me out the way that they could, you know. Without me offering any sort of repayment, like it wasn't, I provided a service and then, you know, they pay me back in service or money or whatever. It was just, they saw me on the side of the road and they said, hey, I help people in situations like yours all the time. I'm, I'm going to help you out. And so it's just, you know, they've been helping me out over the past few days and stuff like that. Along with other people, like, you know, when you're walking the streets and stuff, random people help you as long as you have that light on you. You know, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. So, therefore, when you resist the devil, he flees from you. Evil things just repel themselves. They're not able to come near you. And if they do come near you, just look at them a little bit and they go away. Only pure beings are able to be able to encounter certain things. There was so many synchronicities and, you know, angel numbers, and we would talk about the Bible all day and our different experiences with God. And, like, he'll talk about his family. And, of course, I'll talk about my family and, like, the situation I'm going through since he asked, like, you know, why I'm in my situation and stuff like that. But today... Um, I asked, um, for, for a ride to go, uh, do my laundry. And so I, I did my laundry and while it was like getting washed and dried and stuff, I got some hot food, which I hadn't had in a minute. And, um, We had already talked like the other day. They were like, do you need anything? I was like, my phone bill's coming up and I don't know if like I'll have like all the cash in order to pay for it. So they're like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it and stuff. I told them how much it was. They were like, okay. Then um, we got to the place and they told me that my cell phone company, the maker of the company had gone out of business they're no longer making phones and so basically like I had to get a new phone and I was like I'm sorry sir like I didn't know like all this was going on hey bumblebee peace reflection um and he was like it's all right it's fine and um even the people at the cell phone place they were like you know, you have like a lot of money and credits which I didn't know I could accumulate at my at my cell phone place like they're like give a lot of credit so it's only going to cost you this much to get a new phone and um 
plus the activation fee and the guy paid for it. It's like a little bit extra than the amount that we talked about. However, it just, you know, he was okay with it. And um, <laughs> and like, while most people will be like, oh, you got a new phone, lucky you. It's like, people have been tracking my cell phone. So while this particular device was activated, people, like, I had to be extra careful about, like, having my location on. And even when I didn't have it on, people could tap into certain things. So it's like, oh, she's not using social media often. What's up with that? People have been tracking my location. People have been tracking my use of social media. And now I got a new phone. And it's like, and I wasn't even, like, I wanted to get my phone. I wanted to pay for it. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to do it myself. And, and God was just like, I'm going to take care of this for you. And it's like, <laughs> living on God's grace <laughs> is an entirely different experience, man. And that's the whole point of this week for us to recognize what God does for us. Like this week is all about Abba, giving reverence to him, giving reverence to the great creator, appreciating everything that the Most High provides for us. Because even in your work and your ability to quote unquote make money and provide for yourself, who gives you that strength through everything? <laughs> Who's the one who provides for you in your times of need? Because money goes out the window. And money doesn't, you know, the Bible says money answereth all things, and that goes for it. You know, things of this world, however, it doesn't solve all problems. Now, Dean Graziosi, in the book Millionaire Success Habits, he mentioned one of his mentors said, if you can cut a check for a problem, you no longer have that problem. Well, there's not always situations you could cut a check for. However, in situations like these, other people can cut checks for you. And um, before we even got to my cell phone place, we had gone to one of my favorite spots. And I was like, wow, that was one of my favorite locations. He showed me an entirely different area of it that I had never experienced before. Or if I did experience it, it was like a really, really long time ago. I was like, I didn't even know that, you know, I knew about this place, but I didn't know it existed like this. I didn't know that the experience was like this. And it was just, like, something new. And seeing the way that he interacts with, like, strangers and stuff, it's like, he's just a really, really nice person. And there's also this lady, she asked to skip us in line. And um, when we went to go get me some food, and um, we were like, yeah, you can skip us. And then, you know, the cashier lady had already rung up our stuff instead of hers. And he was like, you know, you just go ahead and put that out. I'll, I'll pay for it. And it's like... <laughs> This person is so nice to random people that he doesn't know. And, you know, it's not just like, oh, he's a random stranger. It's like, yeah, he, he literally his job that he gets paid to do is to help people, but he wasn't getting paid to help me or that lady. And um, he told me about something that his wife's going through. And I was like, you know, I'll, I'll pray for you and your wife. I told my sister and. You know how it is when the prayer warriors get together. When two, when two or more are gathered in my name, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and so, um, we prayed for her last night. She felt the physical manifestation of her healing. And uh, we, I told him about it. He was like, "Wow, I really appreciate that." I'm like, "You know, this, I appreciate you, bro. Like, you, you don't even get it, man. Like, a person." He doesn't know who I am. He just learned, like, what my government name was today. 
because of the cell phone situation, I wasn't going to tell him my, my name. God had already revealed to me he was going to learn my my government name today. And I was like, I'm not going to tell him nothing. But then the situation happened at the cell phone place. I'm like, oh, well, okay. And... It's, it's just been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been a whole lot. It's hard for me to receive things sometimes. Even when I do like receive things, I receive it with gratitude. And on the inside, I'm just like, do I deserve this? And it's just... It's a whole lot. Like I got a new phone today. After my previous one had been tracked, as long as it was activated, it had a SIM card. <laughs> and... He has to pray with me, and he prayed with me. I prayed with him. And he was like, oh, yeah, and did you want this tent? I'm like, this dude's giving me a tent. Like, I have one, and the one he's giving me is a bigger one. <laughs> he's already given me a sleeping bag and a thermal pad to make sure I'm not, to make sure I'm not cold at night. <laughs> Never doubt Abba. Never doubt the Most High. Always have faith in God. Always have gratitude. Always have appreciation. Always know that he'll protect you. There's even me leaving my spot, you know. It's like, oh, well, it would be smart for you to stay by your tent and make sure no one takes anything. I already knew my stuff was protected. I get back, my stuff's still here. No. I just, I'm just so grateful that I get to walk on air. You know, Yeshua walked on water. I'm, I'm walking on air, bro. I'm walking on air. And like going through stuff like this, and I remember the um, <clears throat> the bad things that you know people did to me or the bad experiences I had. And I'm like, I forgive everybody. I forgive everybody and everything, and for all the things that I may have done, whether knowingly or unknowingly, you know. My desire is that they would forgive me. Because <laughs> nothing matters when you're in this type of mode, bro. Nothing matters. <laughs> nothing matters other than your faith. And I'm just so grateful for this life and being able to be on this walk, literally, and to be able to share it with you guys. There's people who are in my position or worse and they don't have a platform to be able to share their testimony. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and go, you guys. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this week. I sure will. All praises to the Most High. Love is a language that needs no translation. All right. Shalom. Thawada.